Hi guys, welcome back to Harry Makes Art. Today I'm going to do a look inspired by Marion Coulthard. I've probably pronounced her name horribly wrong, as per usual, um, but I love her style. I love the way she does her makeup and I thought this would be a nice look to do. Um, it kind of it's good for any time of year really, but it's especially nice for an evening look or a party look. And it's the look she wore in the Dior campaign. So I'm really excited to do the look. I have got a really horrible dry area around my nose because I've had flu all weekend, but I'm feeling better now and I'm ready to put some makeup on. So first thing I'm going to start with is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the Makeup To Go. You guys know I love this. I wear the shade 1N2, um, so I think that's the one neutral maybe. Um, I'm not 100% sure how their number ranges work yet. I'm going to clip my hair back actually because it's going to be quite hard for you guys to see otherwise I think. Um, I'm going to use my Zoeva, this is the silk finish brush, I really like it with this foundation. And because I've had a cold, I literally, my skin just looks so lacklustre got loads of redness around my nose and quite, quite a lot of dryness where I've been blowing my nose so much so this foundation is really nice and moisturizing just going to give me a bit of health back as well and I can kind of build the coverage so again around my nose where it's a bit drier and more red I can just use a little bit extra there so hopefully you can see that foundation has given me a nice little glow back it's made my skin look a bit more alive again a bit more color back um and yeah, just covered around my nose. You might see a little bit of the dryness because it really has gone to that point where, and it's a bit TMI, but it's a bit like crispy skin, which is really gross. Um, so I've just gone over that best as I can, um, but I've just been putting Liz Pathard and eight hour cream on it at night just to help it um, repair itself a little bit. So I'm so. using NYX Brow Pencil, because you guys know I love this. And she had quite a good strong brow in this look actually. So I'm gonna go a slightly stronger than I would with my natural brow. Um, but because I don't have a lot of brow, it looks quite unnatural if I go too strong. So I'm just going to thicken it out a little bit and I'm going to elongate it. It has a nice little kind of kick in the arch. And then it's a little bit square on top coming outwards. And I'm just brushing through with my brow grooming tool as I go along just to make sure you can see the individual hairs still. So the palette I'm going to use for eyes today is the one by Tanya Burr and this is the fairy tale eye palette because I actually think if you look at the picture in the Dior campaign it definitely has that kind of tan colour running through it but with a little bit of wet look shimmer on the top of the lid so I thought these two colours would be really good actually to achieve this so first of all um, I'm going to go on I'm actually going to do a little wash of the matte one first all over the lid to kind of act like a base and I'm just taking as well a soft luxe definer so I'm just using that shade there. And I'm just gonna sweep that all over the eyelid just to give a nice base. And these are really well pigmented actually. I'm really impressed with the quality um, of the shadows. They blend really nice. I mean, they've got a very similar texture to kind of MAC shadows if I'm honest. So I think the price point of these is pretty amazing. And I'm gonna take it past my socket because I want it to kind of blend upwards into the shadow. And because I'm going to be layering the shadows, it's nice to have a good wash of colour. And I'm just going to take a bit off on the back of my hand with that same brush. And then just buff out so that the line goes really soft. And in the picture, it definitely comes down quite low, the shadow. So I'm actually being a little bit more over generous with the shadow. Um, so don't worry if it looks really dark at the minute. It's because we're going to bleed other colours into it as well. And then I'm just going to take a big fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to make sure that the shape that starts to taper out is slightly, slightly winged. It's really, really soft though. So again, if you prefer a more rounded shape, that's fine too. But it's just to help the blend kind of taper out to a nice shape. So then I'm going to take this colour here, which is the beautiful kind of steely grey. Like I said, it's got kind of brown undertone as well. Um, and I think if you couldn't find this palette, you could use MAC Satin Taupe would probably be a good one. Um, although this one is cheaper. Um, so I'm going to take this then on the centre of the lid and I'm going to start to work it all over the first part of the lid, kind of up to the socket. And this just starts to give it a little bit of a wet look. This is actually a really good colour match, kind of what she's wearing in the um, campaign actually. So just working from the centre. So it almost gives like a kind of steely, it's quite nice that kind of cool and warm tone actually, blending together. And again, taking that softer brush, I'm just gonna blend the two together just to make sure there's a nice bit of the kind of tan top within the wet look shadow. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of that again underneath. And this time I'm gonna start to make it pull out that little bit more. So I'm just following the lash line upwards as if it were kind of going up to a slightly more winged finish. 
and just keeping it really soft with the shadow. So the next step is taking the Little Black Liner by Estee Lauder and I'm not gonna do a flick, I'm just gonna go right into the root so that the roots are really deep and black. So let's use a mirror to do that and I'm just gonna go all the way across but again, not flicking out. So I just want a really dark black root where my lashes are. So I'm keeping it as close as I can to the lash line and just going all the way across and you can thicken up a little bit on the outer corner if you want to, but it's more just to make sure you've got that nice black definition all the way along. And then I'm also gonna take that same liner and I'm actually gonna do a couple of little dots along the bottom lash line as well. So I'm just gonna lean it. Again, you've not gotta be really perfect at this point, guys. So don't worry if you feel like it's a bit messy. I'm just doing little dots. And you just wanna keep it as close to the lash line as possible. And then before I do any more on the liner, I'm just gonna go back in with that nice kind of tan color. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that through the socket, just so a little bit more of that tan color comes back through. And I think that's definitely kind of a key color within this look. So just going back into the socket. I'm then gonna take a pencil by MAC and it's one of their PowerPoint eye pencils. It's waterproof, but you get a little bit of time to blend with it and they're really long lasting. And this is a really interesting color. Let's see if I can make it clear what color it is. It's kind of like a greeny black, but it just has a little bit of shimmer in it as well. Very fine and very discreet, but it just makes a really nice alternative to black, especially when you're kind of smoking out underneath with the lines. So I'm now gonna take, go back to my small mirror. I'm now gonna take this where I started doing that kind of black line and I'm just gonna start to smoke it, but I am gonna go all the way in now. And what's nice about this color is you can go on the waterline and it, because it's not black, it's not gonna kind of close the eyes up as much. So if you're really worried about this step, again, you could just miss this step and just carry on underneath and not go in the waterline. But for my eyes, I actually suit a little bit on the waterline. And just using a pencil brush again, I'm just gonna start to kind of smudge that out so it starts to soften a little bit. And now going back to Tanya Burr palette, I'm just gonna use the color which is called Witch's Cat, which is the matte black, again with a pencil brush. And now we're just gonna soften all the lines so that where we put that liner, um, you can just tap it off on the back of your hand if you get any fall down. And I'm gonna go over that black liner we did and just start to soften the line up so it goes a little bit more hazy rather than a kind of perfect line. And this is why it's great if you feel like you have a wobbly hand or not a steady hand, just going in. And I'm also just using that shadow just to pull out a little bit. So like I said, you're still kind of creating that winged look, but very, very softly. And just pull it out a little bit more so you get that nice winged eye. So when you get to this stage, you want to add some mascara and I'm gonna use my Fairy Drops mascara. So I find this is definitely improved now that I've used it a few times. I find it was a little bit too wet at the beginning. So I'm gonna go on my bottom lashes first and I'm gonna do a good few layers of mascara so it builds quite well. Again, there's still no concealer. I'm gonna wait till after I've done my mascara. In case there's anything else I want to do or any corrections I want to make. I'm going to give my lashes a good curl and coat with some mascara, but then I'm going to add some falsies. For lashes, I think in the look, like I said, with Marion Coulthard, it definitely looks like she's got quite a full lash. So I thought it would be fun to do some of the Fleur Loves eyelashes for the Fleur de Force for Ilio, which and I think these are amazing, the three-quarter lengths. I've always been a fan of kind of half lashes, and I think these are really nice easy to use, soft, fluttery lash. So I think these could look natural or dramatic. You could kind of mix them with different looks. So I've just let the glue dry a little bit and I'm gonna pop them on. I'm using the Shuemura, these are the lash tools. Um, I really like these, but you can obviously just use normal tweezers. Probably should hold a small mirror so I can do this close up. And I'm just gonna drop it on the outside corner. And then as it dries, I'm gonna push it into place. Oh my God, these lashes are amazing. They are really, really beautiful, those lashes. They're really fluttery and soft. I think they might be a new favorite, actually. I'm definitely gonna have to get some more of these for a carpet. So I'm gonna put the other one on and then come back to you. So that's with the lashes on, guys. Um, like I said, I really, really love these lashes. They feel so comfortable, like you're not even wearing eyelashes. So I really recommend these. I really love how soft they are. They're really nice with a little bit of a smoky lash line. Um, I'm just gonna let the glue dry, dry properly um, and I'm gonna go on to concealer. So for concealer, I'm gonna use Clarins Instant Concealer. And I'm gonna go into the inner part and use this as well. Um, just to kind of elongate as well under the eye and really help kind of make it a little bit more dramatic, that nice 
angle. So if you're kind of winging out eyeshadow and you find it really hard, you can always use your concealer to help you. So moving on to powder, I'm gonna take my beloved NARS, I think this is the Translucent Crystal Press Powder, and I'm just gonna use a big Bobbi Brown brush. And I'm just gonna take that over any areas that I want to add powder bronzer to. Um, and also it's nice because it helps the look last a little bit as well. So a little bit of that, I find this soft enough to use under the eyes, which is nice. So it's a really good pressed powder. Now I would say in the look, the Dior look, she definitely doesn't really have a blush. It's more of a contoured look, but I'm gonna give a bit of softness first with this Body Shop bronzer. And this is in the shade 04. So I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown buffing brush, sorry, face blender brush. And I'm just gonna take a bit of that first just to warm up the complexion and start to kind of mimic where I would add a contour. But I don't really want to use too much bronzer to contour as it will start to look a bit too orange. Then I'm just using a bit of the contour shade from the Maybelline Master Sculpt on a Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt brush. And I'm gonna suck my cheekbones in and I'm just gonna add a little bit more definition just to kind of complete the skin look on the face. So skin done and the lip in the look, I would say she's wearing quite a kind of beigey brown lip, but it's still very, very light. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my lips with a little bit of soft lip liner and I'm gonna use the Clinique um, Baby Buff Lip Pencil. So I'm gonna use this very softly just to trace out my lips. And I'm going slightly over on the top lip and I would say the lip shape is almost a little bit, not pointed, but it's not so smooth. It sort of goes up here and a little bit round. So I'm just gonna copy that into my own lip shape. So just on the Cupid's bow, it's made a little bit more prominent. So for lips, I'm gonna use one of the Lipstick Queen lipsticks and this is Peachy Nude Sinner. So I felt this had a nice mix of the kind of beige without being too flat on me. So I'm just using an Estee Lauder lip brush And so that's the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I really like the look. It's one of those looks I would wear for an evening out. Um, I like this kind of makeup. I feel it suits my eye shape. Um, the tones and colors can be adapted to suit pretty much everyone though. Um, and the shapes again, you don't have to wing it out. You could keep it soft and round if you like. Um, but make sure you at me and at Hero Makes Up if you're trying out any of the looks yourself with my socials. And make sure you subscribe and like, and don't forget to sign up for the newsletter to be entered automatically into monthly prize draws. Um, that's my blog, HarrowMakesUp.com. And I hope to see you soon with more videos, guys. Thanks very much. Bye. <laughs>